May it please the court? This is the state of South Carolina versus Raymond Williams McCall on indictment number 2021-GS-14-0023, charge possession of controlled substance. He um, was picked up on a bench warrant, Your Honor, who wishes to plead guilty. He is now represented by Scott Robinson. There is a recommendation of time, sir. Okay. Mr. McCall, you want to plead guilty? Yes, Your Honor. You have enough time to talk to your lawyer? Yes, Your Honor. You said it's not him? Yes, Your Honor. You understand, I give you six months in jail for this. Yes, sir. So this is gonna tell me what happened here. On August 25th, 2020, Deputy Gray with the Clarendon County Sheriff's Office was patrolling the area of 521 at Burlington Road in the Manning area of Clarendon County. He observed a Penske truck traveling at a high rate of speed. Radar indicated 70 miles in a 55 mile per hour zone. Um, Deputy Ray initiated a traffic stop when he approached the vehicle, he noticed that um, the defendant, who was the driver, exited out of the vehicle um, to meet him. He noticed in his report that that was unusual for a defendant to do. He noticed that the parotid artery was visibly pulsating, and so he asked for his driver's license. The defendant did not have it. Um, then the defendant started giving him a story about moving in a $700,000 house. Um, and they found what was believed to be alprazolam, which is Xanax, a Schedule 4 controlled substance inside the vehicle. Your Honor, that substance was tested. It was positive as alprazolam and discharge followed. Those facts correct, Mr. McCollum? Yes, Your Honor. I find as a factual basis to your plea, you should be voluntarily entered into. And you had advice of counsel, counsel, and you tell me sad about that plea. How long have you been in jail? Uh, total of five days. Five days? Two this time and three when I was arrested the first time. Okay. Your Honor, you'll notate lifting the bench one well if Mr. Crystal he was rolling on the bench one. Okay. You still live in North Carolina? No, Your Honor, I'm not relocated back to Maryland. Is you in Maryland? Yeah, I work in Maryland. What part of Maryland? Uh, Bud Burning area, just south of Baltimore. Okay. All right, so Mr. Cordes, you committed to the county attention of five days time, sir. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, this is the State of South Carolina versus Brianna Nicole Barkley, indictment 2022, GS 14-0033. She was charged with um, human crack cocaine and possession of meth, both of the first offense to be reduced to a possession first based on the drug analysis test. Um, and she's represented by Chris Durant, the state that's recommended the time for Is it these drugs are being tested? Yes, sir. They weren't selected? No, sir. They went to the sheriff's office in Sumter County. Okay. The cutoff was in, I think, so she May and May. To two counts? Two counts. One count of possession of meth and one count of possession of crack. Okay. Okay. Ms. Barkley, you want to plead guilty? Yes, sir. You have enough time to talk to your lawyer? Yes, sir. You satisfied with him? Yes, you understand I've been here for years on both of you? Yes, sir. Okay. So, so this happened on January 29, 2021. Um, law enforcement responded to a potential burglary at 31 Sumter Street in the city of Manning. They made contact with the victim, Christina Hansen, and she said that the uh, defendant was in her house. Um, she did not know her or didn't understand why she'd be in the house. So law enforcement, while they were investigating, um, spoke to Ms. Barkley, smelled the odor of marijuana coming from her and also from her vehicle. They searched and they did find um, several burnt lots of marijuana, but they also found a two clear bags that they believed to be both believed to be matched. It turned out one was um, crack cocaine and one was methamphetamine um, when they tested the sheriff's office. The burglary charge associated with the case was dismissed, Your Honor. Um, 
the victim I had open warrants of her own. I think it's something kind of maybe. But um, we couldn't find her. So we dismissed the burglary charge. <laughs> Christina Hansen. Um, so those, that, those charges were dismissed. The possession charges, she, since being charged with this, she's pled guilty to drug charges or something and been placed in drug court and on probation. Um, this will not be a violation of that. It shouldn't be. Um, but rather than muddy the waters for the second probation, um, we felt like it was appropriate to give her time served on the possessions here. How much time has she served? It looked like, Your Honor, that she was arrested on January 30th, 2021, and bonded out on February the 3rd. So I think that's four days. Okay. No slash correct, Ms. Marks? Yes, sir. I find this a factual basis. You'll please give me voluntarily and then to you that advice to come to counsel when we tell this that I'll accept this plea. So, are you still on probation, sir? Yes, sir. Are you in drug court? Yes, sir. You doing okay? Yep, sure. So you don't have any about violation of probation pending or something? No, sir. Okay. I'll send you four days of time, sir, on both of them. You want to tell me anything, Mr. Do you have? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir.